afternoon. Thank you for calling Portsmouth Hospitals. If you know the extension you require, please dial it now or hold for operator assistance. Hello, this is the Neurology Secretary to Dr. Flat and Dr. Kitley. I'm away from my desk at the moment, so please listen to the following message. It's Tuesday. It's about six o'clock and I've still not received a phone call from the hospital. I'm pretty disappointed actually because a lot of people I've been saying, you know, my doctor's really good, I trust her, she always gets back to me and this is the first time she hasn't rung back when she said she would. This makes me think there are genuine reasons for it. One of them being that she was duty all weekend, or sorry, she was working all weekend on call as the on-call consultant. And another being she's obviously works on the triage system and maybe I'm not top of her list at the moment, which is fair enough. You can hear me sniffing, it's because I've just had a shower and I'm still getting that funny sensation of stuff dripping down the back of my nose but it does settle down once I'm flat for a while before people ask have you tried contacting the hospital yes I have I've tried three times and I've actually left a voicemail too on the world's longest answer phone message triple seven triple two otherwise please leave a message clearly stating your name date of birth NHS number and contact number with a brief message. Please note it may not be possible to call you back the same day, but all messages will be dealt with. Many thanks. But still not heard anything. just want to say how proud I am of my daughter I know she's only young and we our plan was to raise a strong independent woman but she's obviously having to do that 18 years too early this illness has always forced me into situations where I can't be there for her and it's extremely extremely frustrating and the fact that it doesn't phase her at all, no matter where she goes, she can put her down in any bed and she'll sleep all the way through the night to the morning and her appetite's not been affected, she's not cried for us, which makes me sad in a way because I wanted her to be like missing me but I suppose she doesn't even realise what's going on. I am proud that she's not been phased and it just puts confidence in her, or it puts confidence in me rather that I don't need to worry about her when these circumstances do happen and I have to leave them with other people. My glasses are broken and I can't even blame it on Fionn. She used to always grab my glasses off my face but I was just washing them under the sink because I always wash them under hot soapy water when they get a bit too fingerprinted. And arm came off my hands so... This is the new look for summer 2017.